All right, so now we carry on and we say, right, mass extinction through the ages. Now, the history of the earth can be divided into four main eras. People, you've got to know these eras. Your Cenozoic, <laughs> your Mesozoic, your Paleono, hang on, Paleozoic, and your Archaeozoic. All right, so if you look at those, make up a, a silly word, CMPA, so that you know CMPA, Cenozoic, Mesozoic, Paleozoic, and your Archaeozoic. Um, and you'll look at them all, Ozoic, 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 Ozoic. They all end with the O-Z-I-O-I-C at the end of it. Each area is subdivided into periods or epochs. And the diversification and evolution of plants and animals can be traced through the periods by using, ah, here we go, fossil records. People don't just thumb suck theories mm. and say, hmm, okay, you know what, yeah. let's just suck out four eras and say those are the main eras of, of the history of the earth. Um, no, we've got archaeologists and, and um Paleontologists and entologists <laughs> and you name it, all the ologists came along and they are scientists and they've based this on proof that they have found through the strata of layers of rocks etc and, and fossils and they've said right these are the eras and, and those eras or, or, or periods or epochs that is because they found proof of stuff buried in between layers of rocks. Okay, so diversification and evolution of plants and animals can be traced through these periods using fossil records and showing many small changes that have resulted in new species. Now we have macro, another term you must know, macroevolution. It's major changes that took place over millions of years in a time scale measured by geologists and dating back to the beginning of life on Earth. That's the definition for macro evolution, and you must know this, people. It just said in this topic you'll have to learn a lot of definitions, unfortunately. Yeah, and you'll terms. Have to do that. But you know what? It's not really mm. that much. It'll be one page. Yes. So just do all your definitions onto one page and make sure that you learn them. And then the rest, honestly, just slots in. It's like a puzzle. Once you've got the, the basic yes. skeleton of a, of, of, of a puzzle, the rest just fits into place. Okay, now, the history of the earth in perspective. Um, and and uh, Farid and I decided we were going to do this for you so that you had some kind of idea of, if, if I mean, talking about mm. millions of years and billions of years, I mean, think, oh, for heaven's sake, you know, I'm, I'm 15, 16 years old or 17 yes. years old. You, you can't even begin to relate to millions and billions of years. So we decided we were going to put this into a one-year time frame for you so that you understand when humans arrived and when the first <laughs> organisms, living organisms, they, that they found proof of actually existed. So let's have a look at this. So we start off with March, where you have the first bacteria appearing. And remember, those were the Moneras, all right? Then in May, we get photosynthesizing plants appeared. So now we get other plants which have chlorophyll and they're able to manufacture food, the autotrophics. In mid-November, we get the primitive fish which would have, uh, fish would have made their first appearance. So you first had bacteria, you have plants, and now you get the fish appearing. But also something else, people, just to add to this, just look at the dates. March yes. of the year, first bacteria. And then April, two months later, which is quite a long time, uh, your photosynthesizing organisms appear. And then from May to November is an incredibly long period mm. of time. And then all of a sudden, mid-November, end-November, mid-December, end-December, in if our development of our Earth was over one year. So it took quite a long time mm. for things to actually get there. But once they started, once we had the photosynthesizing plants, then we ran with it. And, and think back what we did in ecology, where they were the producers, so they were there to produce, and now things could survive, all right? End of November, look at the amphibians appeared. Amphibians are like your frogs, tadpoles, etc. that are there. And they can do land and, and water. Yes, and then you get mid-December, mammals appearing, and look at end of December, we get the first humans. So remember, this is if we take the history of the Earth, over a period of one year instead of millions of years. That gives you some idea of, of how or where mammals ended up, 
starting from the very, very first bacteria that arrived. Okay, now we have to look at a table. And we're going to take you through a very basic, because remember this is in your workbooks. You're going to, you can also access it on www.learn.co.za, so on the Learning Channel website. But we're going to just briefly take you through these errors. Now you do not have to learn mm. this off by heart. People, this is one of the tables that's here purely to show you the development. But if they give, I mean, yes, okay, data, data response. This will be data response that they give you. They're not going to expect you to learn every one of the errors off by mm. heart and what happened when, where, how. But a basic concept of it you must know. So let's look at our table. Okay, let's look at our table and we start with the first error, which is Archozoic, the age of origin of the Earth and the universe. And when we look at the years, and we see it's 1500 to 4600 all right and when we go and look at the biological events or what plants develop there we see the evidence of our first prokaryotic cells and those are the bacteria remember prokaryotic no true nucleus all right but within that same one we also see in 1500 the primitive algae are, becomes abundant and cyanobacteria develops and you get your fungi coming up and look at there, eukaryotes are present. Now this brings about the marine vertebrates which evolved from the worm-like animals and the snyderians. All right, there we come back to our word snyder. No, 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 snyderians, okay. <laughs> but there, it, 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 so within that first era, people, here, first part of it, there are, there are no animals. And only later on do the animals actually start to evolve. Or develop remember evolve means to develop to diversify okay we're now going to look at our next era and that's going to be the Paleozoic era and let's look at what develops now you get the algae as plant which dominates the aquatic environment remember they have chlorophyll they're going to be able to photosynthesize and look at what happens with our events there first major extinction event occurs and you get the trilobites now which are common the evolution of many phyla takes place here, known as the era of the explosion of life. Okay, with the Paleozoic era, you'll notice there's many periods. Now, let's just look at the major periods. We've been through the first one, the Cambrian, where we looked at the first major extinction. We now go to the Ordovician period, or Vision period. Look at the second major extinction event occurring, and you get invertebrates now dominates and we get first fish appear all right we're going to go now where we get the third major extinction and that will be in the permian uh, period all right where we get the modern insects appearing mammal like reptiles are common and you get your third major extinction of the paleozoic invertebrates all right we're now going to look at the mesozoic uh, period or the era and we're going to look at the first one which is a triassic period but we notice there's where the first dinosaurs appeared. And if we go to the Jurassic period, then we see large specialized dinosaurs appearing. And when we go to the Crata Cretaceous period, these we see... These words are terrible. It, it, it really, Faridi, these words yes. are horrendous. Can you see the words are terrible? <laughs> and I'm battling myself. I don't know how you're going to battle with them. But Cretaceous period is where we have our fourth major extinction coming out so dinosaurs reached the peak in that time and we get the fourth major extinction coming about and what happens now your large reptiles and ancient birds became extinct and the first modern birds and primitive mammals developed all right the next period is your cenozoic period and there we look at the different periods look at the names again quite a few there pliocene and Miocene. We're not going to go through all those words there. You don't There's, need to know them. Yes, you don't okay. need to learn we, them. We've put them in for you as as interest mm. and, and to help you understand so that we don't just give you um, a thousand piece puzzle and only give you the outline. Mm.